ah, PlayStation, why are you so hot? What have you been doing? Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the three reasons why your PlayStation 4 might be overheating, as well as three extra tips to make sure that your PlayStation is running smooth and cool. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you always be up to date on my latest videos. So let's get right into it. The first reason that your PlayStation 4 might be overheating is simply because it's using a lot of energy. You're gaming on Call of Duty, you're on Warzone, you're playing with over a hundred people while you're on party chat with a group of your friends, on your Bluetooth controller at the same time, you're on your headset, you're hooked up through Wi-Fi. All of this requires a lot of energy cumulatively in order to operate and it just takes a lot of computer memory in order to do those things. So you know at that point, once your fan really starts running, that it's requiring a lot of energy to do all these processes at once, which is normal, but it can create overheating. The second reason is that you're just simply stacking too much on the PlayStation. If you, especially if you have an entertainment center and you have other consoles or players on top or on bottom of it, that's actually really not good for the panels of the PlayStation because it creates too much heat and then the heat radiates up or if you have another device on top or below that heat can also radiate up to the PlayStation and it can create unnecessary wear and tear and ultimately overheat your console. The third reason that your PlayStation 4 might be overheating is because the back of it might be too close to an object that the fans cannot expel enough heat so that it allows it to escape and run cool. So that leads me right into the first tip to make sure that your PlayStation is running nice and cool. So the first thing that you should do is just simply back that PlayStation away from a wall or an object that's preventing the fans from expelling the heat and creating enough room so that you don't have to worry about it not expending the heat from the energy that it's requiring to run all of these processes. The second thing that you can also do is you can get a vertical stand. And what that does is it rotates the PlayStation into a vertical position so that the only panels that are uh, being covered underneath is the, the smaller side of it, which in, with a lot of uh, vertical stands, there's a little gap that allows even that side part to go right underneath. I tried to get the official PlayStation vertical stand because I always like keeping everything as official PlayStation as possible for convenience and smoothness sake. Um, but of course that was sold out. And I ended up getting this third party stand for about 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a description to that in the link below. And it's working good so far. I have no issues and it's, 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 it's running really good. Um, and I also noticed that my PlayStation is running cooler because of it being in the vertical position as opposed to the horizontal position, which is a huge plus. What some other people do also is they get a fan stand, which allows you to put that PlayStation uh, 4 up in a vertical position and then also blows air into it so that it keeps it cool. I'm not so sure if this works very well or not compared to just having a vertical stand because you are blowing air into it. Um, and there's also, if you read reviews on it, you'll see that some people don't know if it's really on or not or if it's still drawing energy from the PlayStation in order to work while it's in rest mode when you're trying to keep the energy low. Um, so I'll leave a description to a, a fan stand and then read up on those reviews and see what people think. And the third tip that I'm gonna give you that will keep your PlayStation running smooth and cool is to just simply raise it up. Uh, if you're not able to have the PlayStation in a vertical position and you, ha you, you tend to have devices or shelves that are right above or below it, the best thing you can do in this case is to just get some uh, rubber stands. Um, you can make them yourself or you can also get them on Amazon, which I can link to that below as well. That simply raises it up a little bit so that, that that bottom panel has enough airflow going in and out of it. So just to recap, if you give your PlayStation enough room so that it creates enough airflow around it and on the top and the bottom panels, it should alleviate overheating issues and potentially unnecessary wear and tear that could lead to disastrous results such as a hard drive failure or even the power supply going bad things like that you just that you just want to avoid 
So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on my next video. See you guys in the next one.